Hey guys, this week I am checking out what's in my bag. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see what I bring on a multi-day tour or a bikepacking tour. Okay, you had a chance to check out what's in my bag last week for a multi-day bike tour. So this week we're going to try out and see what I bring in on a one to two day type of tour, more of like a bike packing setup. So let's check it out. Another way to carry your uh, stuff when you're on tour is using a rackless system. And what I mean by that is you don't need to have uh, racks for the rear or the front of your bikes. What you do is you buy bags or uh, you know things that holds your bag that attaches to the frame or the seat posts or any part of the bike that's uh, you know pretty s stable. And so a lot of people use that. It's really popular right now. Um, it's a it's called bike packing. You know, kind of like backpacking, but the bike's carrying your stuff. And I'm just gonna go through what I would carry on my bike pack setup. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is check out what's in the saddlebag. So saddlebag is this guy right here. You know? Okay, so this is my saddlebag. And let's see what's in, what I carry in this, this thing. It's one of the roll-on types uh, made by Revelate Designs, one of the more premier uh, brands that out there for bike packing. And it's uh, actually a material that's waterproof, so I mean, it's really good news if you're riding in the rain. Um, this is my camping pants, so it's convertible pants type of thing. I bring this everywhere I go for long pants and short pants conversion. Socks, wool socks, my buff. Don't go anywhere without my buff. And then I got a pair of chonies and this is my puffy jacket. Extra pair of shirt, my pillow, my trusty mug for coffee in the morning. And last but not least, I believe I have my camping set, my uh, cooking set. It's all in here. This is with my alcohol stove. And yep, that's it. That's my saddle. So the next thing I want to check out, what's in my gas tank, I could call it. So this is my gas tank. This sits right on top of my uh, top bar right there, I'm next to, right in front of me. Uh, Essentially, people use this to kind of carry a lot of different things, but I use it for a different purpose here. But usually, a kit's to fix uh, my stuff. But of course, the first thing I pull out is my spork for all the anything I need for to eat. Uh, extra tube, and then and then some uh, some tools. You know, it's empty now. Some extra duct tape just in case you can't go anywhere. Extra dollar bill, I don't know why I have that. Uh, tire levers, you know, changing out your tires. And then I actually created one of my cool tool kit that I bring with me. Um, extra chain, I have a fiber fix spoke kit right here to fix any kind of spoke issues. A patch kit, um, and some more duct tape. So put it all in an Altoids tin and you're good to go for that. And I strap it down with some uh, used uh, inner tube that I cut up so it doesn't you know, open up while I'm riding. All right, so the next thing we're gonna check out what's in the front of my handlebar. So the big thing that's in front of my handlebar bag is my one person tent. It's called a quarter dome one. And so basically it's a, a tent that you gotta stick that stake down with poles and everything and fly, rain fly and everything. Uh, I'll probably be talking more about that tent later on uh, in future episodes. And the other luxury item that I bring with me on my bikepacking trips is a chair. And of course, REI has their own Flex Light chair brands. Um, I did a review on that, so check it out uh, in, the, in the, my YouTube channel. Great chair, good, good to bring out, but a little bit expensive. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is what's attached to my forks on what do we call the anything cage from Salsa. So in my anything cage, it doesn't matter which side because uh, they're exactly the same dimension. I have, the first thing is my sleeping bag. Also an REI brand, Halo, they don't make these anymore. Uh, ultralight um, 
not ultra light, but light uh, sleeping bag, uh, down sleeping bag. And then the other one is my Thermalite uh, sleeping pad that I carry with me almost everywhere I go. And then for what's in my feeder bags, I got two of them attached to my handlebars. So let's check out what's in those. Uh, I have two feeder bags. So the first one, uh, what's in that is actually my multi-tool, uh, my Sharpie. And then the second feeder bag, I have my little bottle of fuel for my alcohol stove. So the last piece of equipment is actually a pretty controversial one. I think there are people who um, are really purists about it where they don't they want to ride their bikes without anything on them but I actually prefer having something like this just to give me more stuff to uh, spaces carry uh, more things um, and it's the hydration pack so the one I we I bought is called the Raptor 14 from Osprey and it's it's a three liter it has a three liter bladder in there and a bunch of compartments that's great for carrying uh, whatever things I might be missing. So let's check out what's in here so that you have an idea of what I would carry on a short one to two day trip. So the first thing you notice is uh, there's light. Uh, obviously in the backpacking setup, there's nowhere to put lights. So it's really convenient having a, a backpack with a light on at nighttime, say, or when you're riding at dusk or dawn. So it's, it's a good thing. Bottom right here, which this bag has, is a really cool like compartment for tools. So the only thing I have in here, um, I can show you, is a tire patch kit that I actually put in this compartment here. But you can see that there's a lot of like places to kind of put tools or even like snacks if you wanted to in here. So it's pretty good for that reason. And then um, I also carry with me my, what I call my travel wallet. This is a neoprene bag that I got free from somewhere, uh, along with the keys for my locks and a, of course a bottle opener. Can't leave home without that. And then extra snacks on the go, that's my clip bars. I also have nothing in here. And my toiletries actually goes into this part here. And extra more plastic bags. <laughs> I apparently love plastic bags. Uh, support toiletries, you know, toothpaste, my Dr. Bromers, toothbrush, and uh, floss, as well as uh, clean wipes. That's actually a good, good thing to have. And this last zipper on the top right here, I have my bike pump and first aid kit as well as my headlamp that I bring, that I use um, when I'm in camp. So that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, one more compartment. Side compartment here, I have my battery pack where I use to charge my phones and garments and whatnot. So it's all in here and that covers everything um, that you can carry with this bag. All right, that's my bike packing setup. You got to see everything that I bring with me on a one to three day type of trip. So let's see how it looks like all laid out. Okay, that was my bike packing setup that I would bring on a one to three day type of tour. Um, you know, it's a very minimal setup. I bring essentially what I need. And you can see it only weighs about 25 pounds more. So, you know, the weight is light, you're nimble, you're gonna be able to move around different places, go on different terrains. That's really the really big benefits of a bike packing setup. Thanks for watching guys. Check out my last video here or subscribe to my channel for more bike touring topics. So until next time, make sure you get out there and discover your ride bags, my panniers. So the way I pack things are I treat each pannier as like a different room of my house. So we could just go through and start going through each pannier, each room, and I'll show you what I, I bring in there. So let's start with the, the first room, which is my office. 